First alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. We've got to talk about how nice this Friday was. Don't want to gloss over that before we get to the snow. Look at the time lapse over Burlington. By the way, Lake Champlain almost totally iced over. Showed you some of those satellite pictures yesterday. Now there's some thin clouds coming over, but we're not expecting any snow tonight. So it's an enjoyable evening. 32 right now in Burlington. Not much wind either. How about 33 in Rutland? 27 Plattsburgh. 30 right now in Saranac Lake. Now the weekend overall is quiet. There's not much wind. There will be more clouds and there will will be a few snow showers, especially later tomorrow into Saturday night. But clearly the bigger thing we're watching is what happens later on Sunday into first thing on Monday morning. It's looking like a plowable amount of snow for some of us, if not most of us as we go forward. So we're fine now on storm tracker. See this batch of rain here through the mid Atlantic. That will be our snow shower activity for later tomorrow. Not a big deal, just some flakes, a quick inch of snow for some of us Saturday night. But this area of clouds over Texas is what's going to be the storm for Sunday night and Monday. So it looks like nothing now basically is nothing, but really it's going to get its act together here by the second half of the weekend. So let's take future cast through tomorrow. Some sun in the morning fading to clouds then snow showers tomorrow afternoon. Just a peaceful snow, some light snow showers coming through Saturday night and a couple towns will get an inch. It'd be nice if some of the ski areas had an inch because Sunday would be a great day to ski, not much wind, but this is what happens later on Sunday. This is six o'clock, so it's Sunday evening. We think when the snow comes in and look at these deeper blues, especially in southern Vermont, south of Middlebury, south of the upper valley, and I want to pause this for the Monday morning commute. We think that's when the heaviest of the snow will be falling and it looks like it will be all snow. We're not dealing with any icy mix this time around, so just snow as we go forward with the heaviest of the snow likely being in southern Vermont. Most of the snow is done by midday on Wednesday, though there can be some lingering snow in the Northeast Kingdom, adding up to another couple inches. But in terms of a storm total for this thing, it's not very much. Wouldn't even call it a storm for, say, Messina or Malone, the Route 11 corridor. There it's one to three inches. But you head south and east, Champlain Valley, central Vermont, three to six inches. And look at this, the purple color here for southern Vermont into southern New Hampshire. That's where we think the best chance is for, say, a half foot of snow up to a foot of snow. But as we mentioned a little earlier, if this changes, the likely direction would be south. In other words, less snow. That's something we'll watch as we go forward. Just wanted to let you know that that's what we're thinking about in the weather center. So in terms of travel impacts, no problem Sunday morning, maybe a little snow Sunday PM, but clearly Monday morning would be when the most snow is falling and on the ground. So for this night, nothing going on. Teens, so not as cold. That's pretty nice. How about 30s tomorrow? Just a great ski day, not much wind. Here's the five day forecast. Sunday looks good too. Again, neither of the weekend days will be as blue as today in terms of the sky, but the 30s with little wind will be nice. Then we have that snow Sunday night into Monday. Could be some snow showers over northern New York on Tuesday, but the forecast for next week is pretty cold. Teens and 20s, that's way below the average, which is in the mid 30s for this time of year. We'll have more on that snow potential in a bit, guys.